We now own a Tesla Model Y and a Model 3, and there are a ton of accessories and things you can do to your car, but here are five essential accessories that you need on day one of ownership with three bonus ones at the end of this video. The first is a screen protector, not just any screen protector. You have the choice between a matte screen protector and a glossy screen protector. Now with the matte screen protector, it's gonna reduce some of the clarity, some of the sharpness of the screen, but you'll also reduce some of the glare you get from the sun, whereas a glossy screen protector will be the opposite. So you'll still have that sharpness and that clarity of the screen, but you'll also get a little extra glare compared to a matte screen protector. Now personally, we have a matte screen protector in our Model 3 and our Model Y. We live here in Las Vegas, so I appreciate the reduction in glare a ton. I don't really notice any significant difference in the clarity or the sharpness of the screen. This one we have is by Carwiner. We got it off Amazon. It's very cheap, super easy to install, and there will be a link in the description to this product as well as every other product mentioned here in this video. So after a screen protector number two, you're going to want to get some sort of compartment or console tray storage. The center console in the Model 3 and Y is so deep and you don't want to be reaching for your wallet or your phone or any other objects that you put down there. We have this organizer by Spigen. It has a carbon fiber finish so it looks really nice. It slides back and forth so it's super easy to install and pretty stylish as well. We have one for the armrest too. It doesn't move like the one in the front slides back and forth, but you can easily take it out and get what you want to get underneath as well. But this is a great addition that you need to just organize the smaller things that you normally put in the armrest or in the center console tray. Number three is a shade screen for the windshield. Now we live here in Las Vegas where most people already have this, but even if you don't live in a hot sunny climate like this, you're still gonna wanna get one of these. And the reason for that is because I was told by a Tesla employee directly that the heat in the car won't impact the computer too much, but what will is the heat combined with the direct sunlight. So even if you're in a, a cooler climate during the summer, that sun beating down on the computer along with the heat in the car, you don't want to damage this at all. This is the most important part of the car. It's very essential to the car. You don't want to damage it. And a $20 little thing you throw on the windshield to protect it is very much worth it and very necessary. Now, I highly recommend to get a cover that fits your Model 3 or Y specifically. You can get a generic one, but I noticed that these windshields are a little bit bigger than most other cars. So those might not fit as well. And it's super easy to install one in and out, fold it up if you have one that fits specifically for this windshield. Number four is this leather shield product that will protect the interior of your car and specifically these leather seats. Now Tesla leather is actually notoriously known for being super easy to take care of and lasting a long time, but this will add an extra layer of protectiveness for your peace of mind. Now I recommend this for the black interior too, but especially if you have the white interior like we have here, or if you have any cats, dogs, children, things that can make a mess in your seats, these will give you peace of mind and add an extra layer of protection so you don't gotta worry about these seats getting dirty, getting stains, or things like that. And the cool thing about this other shield too, you only need to apply once every six or 12 months to get that protection, so these will last a long time. And wrapping up number five are floor mats. I wasn't gonna put this one in. I didn't think it was necessary or essential. It definitely helps, but I don't have one on my Model 3. And, you know, we live here in Las Vegas, we don't live in a winter climate, I didn't think too much of it, didn't think I needed to have them. We went back to Chicago for one week during the winter, one week, and I now have salt stains in my carpet. They're very small, but it, it makes the black carpet a little, look a little white, and I can't get them out, and floor mats would have saved me from that. But I will say, even here in Las Vegas, in a desert climate, when we go hiking, running, or out just doing anything, these floor mats are so much easier to clean than my carpet that I kind of wish I had these in my Model 3 as well. They also got a pretty cool look to them too. These are from Test Bros. Again, I'll leave a link in the description, but we got a trunk liner as well with these. We could get a back seat liner too. I think we will upgrade to that as well because just protect the entire car and it gives it a pretty cool look. Now there are a ton of options for floor mats as well. Again, I recommend one that fits your Tesla Model 3 or Y specifically to have that clean fit finish looks really nice. Test Bros, I love these so far. They're very nice, but there are a ton of other options out there as well. Now that wraps up the top five necessary day one accessories. There are a few honorable mentions I wanted to add as well that I've gotten that I think are great on day one. Not maybe super necessary, but will definitely help your experience. So let's get into those. 
So three honorable mentions. Number one is a cup holder for a larger cup or a hydro flask. This will help you avoid spills if you leave your hydro flask on the seat and there's a leak or something, or if you leave it on the floor and you make a turn and it rolls back and forth. I've had that happen plenty of times and when I got this, that saved all of that. It is super cheap, super easy to install, and I highly recommend it. Honorable mention number two are these puck lifts for Teslas. So if you need to go under the car, if you want to jack it up to rotate or change your tires or anything like that, these will go on the bottom of the car against your battery. So when you jack up your car, you can use this as a barrier between the jack and the battery because the battery is the last thing that you want to damage on this car. So this will help protect that. And lastly, number three are these seat covers. They're super simple, but we like to work out a lot. We run, we hike, we go to the gym. So when we get in our car, and we're very sweaty and don't have a change of clothes to throw these on very quickly and just drive home they're super easy they're washable and they protect the seats from just absorbing our sweat so we use them a lot actually and i highly recommend this if you're also an active person who doesn't like to get sweat on your seats and that about wraps it up guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like if you have something else i should have added please leave a comment and if you appreciate the short and sweet to the point videos like this please subscribe i have more coming i'd appreciate it a ton and thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one